G'day everyone, Kimbo here and you join us as we're walking into the Adelaide Airport and we're going to throw our luggage onto the carousel and board a plane to Singapore. This is a flight review of our trip up to Singapore in economy class back in July 2022. Our flight today aboard Singapore Airlines SQ278 took us from the capital of South Australia, Adelaide, all the way up to Singapore, which is about 5,928 kilometres apart and takes approximately 6 hours and 40 minutes. But before even thinking about that flight, we need to get through security, so let's join this line. Once we've cleared security, it's into the main foyer area of the Adelaide Terminal. And for us, we're straight to the bakery. Grab a quick bite and a drink and relax for a while while we wait for our flight. One of the benefits of the Adelaide Airport in the general area is, unlike the lounges, they face the runway. So you get a great view of all the flights coming and going as the morning peak takes hold. And if viewing of planes isn't your thing, there is always the Cooper's Bar because it's always beer o'clock somewhere in the world. After a quick pint, it's past the badly named toy shop, Kaboom, and also WH Smith, and on our way to the brand new International Departure Lounge at the Adelaide Airport. One final check of passports and security, and then it's into the waiting lounge where we find the duty-free section. The smallest duty-free section in the world. Now it's finally time to board the Airbus 350-900. For us sitting in economy, it's a three by three by three seat configuration.
Shortly after takeoff, it was time for some food. For me, it was a shepherd's pie, the bread roll, and some ice cream. And the verdict? You know, that's not that bad. Now let's check out the economy class seat and in particular the headrest which was a struggle for me on this flight. I can say on the return flight back to Adelaide the headrest worked as supposed to be. But for this one, it was a drop seat. So what do you actually get with this Singapore seat? You get a nice little pouch for the headphones. You get your little cup holder. You get your table, which is actually not a bad size. You get a nice size screen in economy class. This actually comes out, you can plug a USB into it so you can charge your electronic devices. Legroom is exactly what you expect in economy class. It's where you put your legs. So I'm not sure who sat in this seat beforehand, but as we saw, the headrest didn't work earlier, and then we tried to press the cool button, and that also didn't work at this seat. One of the things I really enjoy about flying up to Singapore is having a look out the window and seeing the cloud formations. They just get bigger and better every time we fly up. Today we weren't disappointed with a thunderstorm that we had to divert around, but it did leave some spectacular sights. But it's time for tray tables to go up because we're about to land in Singapore. hours on the flight we've arrived in Singapore and it's now time to go through passport check-in get the train into town find the hotel and collect our luggage thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment if you want to see more of these kind of videos on this channel let me know I'm always open for suggestions I'm Kimbo until next time train on <laughs>